as most of you may know, when I started this journey way back when, um, I started with their very first MV replay, and I've kind of just been going through them in chronological order since then because I did want to see that progression as not only artists but as individuals throughout the years, and I have been getting to see that, and it's kind of been amazing, I'm not gonna lie. But this week, I kind of decided to take yet another step back and do something slightly different. You guys, I am here today with yet another album listen. Now, for those of you who don't know, I have actually listened to their first mini album replaying, you guys. It is so good. Granted, it is a very small album. I believe there's only, what, five, maybe six songs on it? Um, I'm not really sure at this point. But... Honestly, there are no skip songs on that album. It is so good. There are a few songs that I still listen to to this day because I love it so much. But, that album aside, <laughs> you guys, I am actually listening to their first full album today. I am excited. Um, fair warning though, you guys, when I looked up the albums on Spotify, there was both this album and then the second mini album that kind of coincide with each other. Now, I wasn't sure which one came out first, um, but I did look up the dates and stuff. And this album was released a good amount of time before that second mini album came out. So that's why I'm listening to this one today. I hope that is right. If not, I apologize. But you guys know that I will eventually be listening to this second mini album anyway. I just hope that I got the albums in the correct order because I'm literally just going off of what I can see on Spotify. If not, I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway, <laughs> you guys, there are 12 songs on this album. Thankfully, two of them I have already heard, so I can pull them out of the mix of the songs that we're gonna listen to today. But, for those of you who don't know, YouTube is kind of an asshole when it comes to album listens. If you try to upload a video with more than so many songs on it, it gets blocked. There are 10 songs that I have to listen to today. Um, so with that being said, this is not gonna be just one video, no. I'm gonna have to break this sucker up into multiple videos to get all of it out there for you guys. So with that being said, there will be videos posted throughout today. Um, when they come out, I don't know. So if some of them come out on Monday for you guys rather than Sunday, I do apologize. I will try to get them uploaded or edited and then uploaded as fast as I can. But again, <laughs> this is gonna be split into so many parts that I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, so if you guys see a part that doesn't have another song on it yet, I promise you that part is coming. Don't worry. Um, it just hasn't been uploaded to the public yet. Yeah, YouTube, you gotta love her. Anyway, <laughs> to what we're doing to right now. So I have four songs pulled up at the current moment. The first one is The Shiny World Bow or Doobop? Do um, the second one is Love's Way, the third one is Romantic, and then the last one for this video is going to be One For Me. Now, I have found lyric videos for all of these songs. Again, I don't know if these lyric videos are going to be great. Um, you guys know sometimes lyric videos, they're not the best. Um, they mistranslate sometimes or they assign the wrong part to the wrong person. It happens. Um, as long as I can get the gist of what's going on in the song, that's really what matters to me. I know if there is a mistranslation somewhere or if something else happened, you guys are going to be there to let me know because y'all are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop talking because holy shit, I never shut up. And we're going to jump into the first one. The first one, the shiny world. Now, um, before we start, question. Isn't shiny world the name of like their concert series like shiny world i may be wrong but i'm pretty sure it is i don't know anymore okay, let's go That like that right there, that's cool. Okay. 
pause for half a second i know that we're not that far into the song and i will rewind you guys know i will i just wanted to say something taman <laughs> you guys know how much love i have for that man it is ridiculous and getting to see him just progress and grow and it it's it's been such a fun and amazing experience and it's only blossomed my love that much deeper for him and it's it's crazy, but you guys getting to see him from replay until now, like hearing that change in his voice, watching it just become stronger and him become more confident. Um, it's amazing. It truly, truly is. I am so proud of him. I'm proud of all of them, but I, you guys know, if you know, you know, and yeah. I just needed to put that out there because I feel like I don't quite just say it enough for him and that kind of makes me sad and yeah. Anyway, back to the song. <laughs> That entire little like segment right there reminds me of replay. Oh my god. Just like that, I like that too. in the guide that I watched for shiny it had um I think Minnow going over that and I didn't know where it was from now I know oh I like that
shiny world. <laughs> okay, so shiny world dupe bop. Yeah, I keep I keep, I want to make sure I'm doing dupe bop right because I keep feeling like I'm gonna f it up somehow. Um, but yeah, so. I feel like this would be a really good concert song and I feel like it's a good intro to the shiny world concert series um, which I think is really cool so, taking the song into consideration I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys um, it's not my favorite song by shiny I, it really isn't um, that does not mean I don't like it I do like it but there are just certain things within the song that didn't quite do it for me um, you guys know that I like an EDM beat and this was very much that it was more electronic than EDM granted but it still had that same feel to it. Um, and I do think it will grow on me as time passes, but it just wasn't my favorite song. Um, now, Shiny's, it, Shiny has a very, very large playlist. <laughs> there are gonna be songs that we don't like on it. Um, unfortunately, this is just one of them for me, but that happens. Um, I hope you guys understand that and there's like no hard feelings because I don't want to like upset anybody by saying I don't like a song, um, but it's, it's just not my favorite. That ending part from then that I do like because now that I know where it's from, I actually really like that. And it, like I said, this is a perfect way to intro the Shiny World concert to the world. And yeah, anyway, I'm not gonna dwell too much on this song because again, like I said, it's not my favorite. Um, so we're gonna just go ahead and try to jump right into the next song. Uh, let's see, what is the next song? Love's Way, I'm excited. I don't know what this is gonna sound like. Um, I have a feeling because now the first album I thought was gonna give me just one like nice like R&B chill vibe, it didn't. Um, so I have no idea if this album is also gonna like just switch it up on me, if I'm gonna continue to get like this like electronic vibe or if I'm gonna get a ballad. I have no idea, but I'm excited. I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna get into Love's Way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. Let's do it. What did I just say? Too much. Classic. <laughs> His little, like, little hair. Too much. Classic. <laughs> cry right now why why this song is just it's it's just it's got so much love and it's so beautiful dang it okay oh god okay why <sighs>
Oh, I love that so much. I love that. I don't want a love that disappears like bubbles. I want a love that express that's expressed even without words. I'm trying so hard not to cry right now. I'm probably being so annoying and I apologize, but that's literally, that's what every single person wants. They just want a love that's going to last, no matter if it's romantic or platonic. They just want someone that's always going to be there for them. And that's, just, it's just fucking beautiful. You guys are stressing me out and I'm going to end up crying. Oh, you guys suck, man. But it's it's literally, it's what every single person wants. I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm getting emotional. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I'm good. I'm good. I'm great. I'm good. 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 I'm BJ. Let's do this. Okay. Hi. Wow. That took an unexpected turn, you guys. I wasn't quite expecting something so emotional to jump out at me. Now, I'm gonna be very honest. Um, when I, the very first segment of the song, maybe the first minute or something, I didn't quite necessarily interpret the lyrics as a love for someone else, meaning like um, maybe like a romantic love. I took it as a love for each other um, because you can interpret that part of this song as them speaking to one another and that's why I think I got so emotional because as I'm listening to them sing and I'm watching the words come across the screen I'm thinking of them talking to one another saying you know I may not always say it but I love you like even like in the darkest times like I'm still there and it's just I think that's what really got me because as I'm listening I'm thinking of not just a love that you could have for someone on a romantic level I'm thinking of a love that you could have for you know of someone that you consider family because I know that they all do and it's just <sighs> I have so much love for them and this song was amazing and it's just it's just honest it's like I can't I may not be able to give you everything you need I may not be able to you know cure this for you but I'm there and I want nothing but your happiness and I may not always say it and but I love you and that to me that's just it's a beautiful statement and it's a beautiful song and it damn it there are too many songs on this album for me to get emotional like this this is not okay I'm not okay with this we're we're gonna go to the next song now you guys because we still have Quite a few songs left to do, okay?
the next song on the list is called Romantic. Now, the last song wasn't called Romantic, but it could be interpreted as Romantic. Am I gonna get another like slow jam song is my question. Oh god. I'm fine. Let's do it. Shit. Okay. Another slow song. I know I'm pausing already and the song just started, I apologize, but did they just write this entire album as like a slow like R&B 2000s vibe because that's all I'm getting and it, I mean, I'm here for it, but damn, <laughs> what are you guys doing? Stop it. No, this is not okay. Oh, I didn't expect it to just, just flip like that. something okay for those of you who don't know because again some of you may be new some of you may just be finding this channel or these videos in general I really don't know but for those of you who don't know so you guys Taman has become like an alt for me since like Super M started an alt of what I don't know I haven't really declared him like a bias and shiny yet because I'm still undecided. I feel like there's so much for me to still listen to and learn um, that I can't really just justify a bias out of, you know, straight off the back. But you guys know since starting this how much I have just fallen in love with Ki. I don't know what it is about him, but there's just something that just keeps pulling me back. And it's kind of ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie to you. But his singing voice is so beautiful i can't i genuinely love it so much he just he sounds so good ah! oh my god okay i had to pause to like contain myself but yeah i'm good just <laughs> Yeah. 
What the hell? How are we going to go from a song that talks about wanting a love that's not like bubbles but a wanting a love that's going to last to this song that makes me sad that I broke up with my non-existent significant other that talks about how I, I want to go back like I, I still have love in my heart um, I want to be reborn as the person who you love like <sighs> I feel like I just went on a small emotional roller coaster. Why? Why? This is literally the perfect breakup song. I'm so emotionally exhausted right now. I need a happy upbeat song. Please let there be another happy upbeat song on this album if not i'm gonna have to go back and listen to shiny world Dubop because if not i i need something that's not gonna make me want to like rip my heart out because it's that's what feels like what's happening you guys are stressing me out god this is gonna be a long album if every song is like this because if not i'm gonna end up crying by the end of this okay i'm gonna stop talking and um we're gonna go to the next song now Please, for the love of whoever is listening, let it be a happy song because I can't, I can't take another sad song at the moment. I can't, I physically cannot. Oh God, why? Anyway, um, yo, the next song we're going to listen to is one for me. Please let it be happy, you guys. Oh. I've been, I'm going through it right now. I need something. A little slither or something. Sl words. Something. Okay, let's just do it. Okay, this is a little better. God, he sounds so good. He has such an angelic voice. Why? There's so many love related songs. I'm I feel like I'm stuck in the 2000s when everyone was singing about breakups. You guys are going to stress me out. I'm going to cry. And I'm an ugly cry. You don't want that. <laughs> Oh, 
just about every single person on the planet can relate to this song in some way shape or form because i feel like we've all been in that position whether it be platonic or romantic we've all had that one person in our life that meant so much to us and we've just watched them go through a horrible relationship where we know that they deserve so much better whether we believe that we can give them better or we just know that there's someone out there that can it, it i feel like that's everyone can relate to that because we've all had that one person and if you haven't had that one person i guarantee you will somewhere in your life now this song it's gonna sound a bit cliche but it reminds me of just that like the, the thing that often happens in like movies and dramas where you have a best friend growing up and they are secretly in love with you or they just have strong feelings for you and as you grow older you end up getting in a relationship it goes bad and then eventually you and your friend end up getting together now i feel dumb for saying that um, but you guys know it happens it happens all the time and this is where the song just took me to um i didn't really want to connect two and two together but how could you not <laughs> anyway you guys we're only four songs in and 
then we still have six songs to go. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a long ass ride. Um, again, watch out you guys, there are gonna be multiple videos uploaded today. Granted, it is still Sunday for me. Um, it's only about 10 a.m. on Sunday, yeah. So I will try to get all of these videos uploaded today. It depends on how fast my stinking internet's gonna be. Um, some of them may be technically uploaded on Monday for me, which is gonna be Tuesday for some of you guys. I'm apologizing in advance, you guys. I am working really hard to get this uploaded. But between slow internet and then just high traffic volumes on YouTube, sometimes it does take a while to upload these videos, especially because these videos are going to be longer. I, I'm just, I'm, a, I'm apologizing now. If you have to wait for a video, I'm sorry. Um, I'll try to do better with future album listens and the fu like future album listens. Um, I'll try to do better with future album listens, getting them edited and uploaded prior to Sunday. That way that I can just post them. But for now, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, first four songs, they were good. Again, the Shiny World uh, Doobop isn't necessarily for me, but I feel like it's slowly growing on me. I do like it though. I feel like it's a great intro to the Shiny World to the public. And yeah, I'm excited to see what else is on this album. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump into that. I will see you guys in part two. I hope you guys are joining me. Anyway. Bye guys, I love you, I will see you guys later, and by later I mean in like two minutes. <laughs> anyway, bye, peace, bye bye!